Hello guys, today I'll be showing you another video on the Lenovo K4 Note. In this video I'll be showing you on how to flash the Lineage OS in our Lenovo K4 Note. As all of you have known that the Cyanogen mod has been closed. So the developers of Cyanogen mod has begun a new operating system called the Lineage OS and it has been out for quite a few days on the Lenovo K4 Note. This is one of the stable builds and it has no problem. So I'll be giving the link of this page in the description below. You can download it from here. As you can see that this was made by, compiled by Mohan CM, a senior member of the XTA developer. And this is not a ported ROM but rather a compiled ROM so let's go for downloading this ROM as you can see that the download links are over here to do this you need to have unlocked bootloader recovery and TWRP and you need to be on the Android 6 firmware if you do not know how to do it then I'll be giving a link in the description below please download it from there so you can see that here we have opened to this page and we will click on begin download. From here we will be downloading the file from the primary download. I already have this file downloaded so I will not download it anymore. But you guys need to download it. For the G apps, what we will do is that we will open a new tab and go to opengapps.org. Here we will be selecting ARM64. Android 6 and we can download any of the versions. I'll be recommending anything mini or below mini but you can download any one of them. It will not matter. After this paste these files in your USB pen drive or in your phone as you wish. I have copied it into my USB pen drive and you can see it's in my USB storage. There are quite a many files but here you can see that the lineage OS and the gaps I'll be showing you with the stock but you can try on any one of them. After this we will open our connection and then we will plug the device. I am using a USB so I will be plugging my USB pen drive into my phone. Just one second let me connect it. Once this has been done, I'll simply go to recovery options. This is actually, I'm what I'm using is the Resurrection Remix OS. Just wait, let me focus it. Just one second, let me focus my. Wait, I'm having a little bit problem in focusing, so just give me a second. So you can see that these are the GApps file. And the Lineage OS ROM. This is the Resurrection Remix ROM which I am currently using. And it is also a stable ROM. So I am not going to be showing about this ROM. So let's leave it and then go to our recovering option. If you do not know how to flash recovery. Then you can check to my 
down to my video which whose link I'll be giving in the description below so I'm going to the recovery menu Once in, once in the recovery menu, we will go to wipe, then we will go to advanced wipe and then we will select, just once again, Dalvik system, cache and data. Please do not select the internal or the micro SD storage. Those are not needed and you will then lose all your files. Do not do that and we will swipe to flash once flashing has been done we will go back 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 then we will go and go to install then we will select our storage for me the storage was my USB OTG so I will select the lineage OS and then I will swipe to flash now I'll pause the video and once flashing has been done I will again resume the video. It will take some time to flash and you do not need to worry about it. Now you can see that, wait just let me focus a little bit more, yes that my zip has been flashed so now what I will do is I will be flashing the G app so I will go back and then I'll select any one of the G apps version I'll be going for the stock version so I'll simply swipe to flash again I'll wait for it to flash and once flashing has been done I will again resume the video I'll just pause it for the time being and let it to flash because it, I know it will take some time so now we can see that it has been installed and installed successfully so now what we will do is that we will reboot the system the first reboot will take quite a lot of time it will take something around 10 minutes to even half an hour so we need to be very patient and we need to make sure that our battery stays long enough for it to be booted up and please do not try to restart your machine or do anything like that just keep it for some time and you will see that it will open up so I will again pause the video and once it has booted up I will again continue So now you can see that the lineage OS has finally booted up. So now what I will do is I will simply go and I will just one second. <coughs> so what I will do is I will finally go and then set up the lineage OS. In this OS you will be seeing some NVRAM error but you do not need to worry about it. Your Wi-Fi will totally be working and you do not need to worry about it at all. So just wait let me put in my credentials and then I will again get back to you. As you can see that Wi-Fi is totally being connected to it.
so I'll just skip this for now and I will course directly to the operating system so you can see that it has been finally installed it runs marshmallow 6.0.1 to enable root what we need to do is we need to go to about phone click on pill number seven times then enter developers option and then in root access click adb only and then flash the super su file again using twrp so that's it for the videos guys i hope you liked it and if you did please do give a thumbs up on this video so that i can make more such videos in the future so thank you and i will meet you guys in my next video